In Shinobi Striker, we have finally received a Tamari DLC, and today we gained access to use her ninjutsu on our custom characters. So in today's video, I will be showing you the best builds with the Tamari DLC. So if you're interested in that, make sure you stay tuned. We are on the road to 2,000 subs, so if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and drop a like for me down below because this video is going to be a banger. So now that we wasted enough time already, let's go and get right into this video. Roll my intro. Snitching on my facts. Back it up, back it up. Two, two, three, gonna make a nigga back it up. Twenty one, trying to strip a nigga, gotta change my outfit. Nigga ain't black enough. Yeah. Boulder Crest Road, Glenwood Road, nigga. So for the people that don't already know, Tamari is for the range class, and today I have two amazing builds that work with their DLC very very well so for build number one let's get into that all right so for build number one as you can see for the weapon i will be using the kusinaga sword orochimaru now moving on to our ninja tool i will be using scientific ninja tool crimson star this is available in 1010 shop right now so if you don't have this weapon i highly recommend you guys to go and try your luck and see if you can get it because it's a pretty good ninja tool to have now moving on to ninjutsu number one for ninjutsu number one we got wind scythe jutsu this is one of tamari's new jutsus and i'm not gonna lie the jutsu is pretty good it basically creates four small tornadoes that will basically follow your enemy with good tracking and when your enemies hit they're basically going to be stunned in the tornado you know floating up on top of it basically taking damage all the time now moving on to ninjutsu number two we'll be using fire style majestic destroyer flame you can get this from the moderate dlc and basically what this does it does a huge fireball that does a huge amount of damage to anybody that it gets hit with now for our substitution we will be using time space hop and you can basically get this from sasuke the last dlc this is basically going to give you invincibility for a short period of time and for our secret technique we're going to be using wind style sea dragon with this jutsu or this ultimate it's going to literally allow you to create a humongous tornado and it'll basically put anybody that's in the area into it and they're basically going to be stuck floating in it for a long period of time actually dealing damage to them over time and it basically allows you or your allies to deal damage to them while they're in this state. It's a pretty good ultimate to have and you get it back pretty fast. So that's basically the build from the build number one. I'm not gonna lie, this build is very good for team game mode. So I highly recommend you guys to use it in team game modes. But let me know down below what you guys think about this build. And let's get right to this gameplay. Let's get it and let's go.
all right and now on to build number two for this build it is the survival exercise slash 1v1 build a solo build i would i should say so for the weapon we're going to be using Shui's katana obviously you can get this from the Shui dlc and now moving on to our ninja tool i will be using the moonlit medicine which was in 1010 shop a couple weeks back but you can no longer get this until the rotation spins back again now moving on to ninjutsu number one we will be using inferno style flame lightning this will basically allow you to pull your enemies towards you and when they come very close to you it's going to hit enemies with black flames and when they get hit they will be basically taking damage over time with their mataratsu and with ninjutsu number two we will be using summoning blade dance with this jutsu is going to allow you to summon in tamari's pet and when you summon him you basically throw him at an enemy and when he hits the enemy or on contact with the enemy it's going to put them in a tornado which will do damage over time while wherever they go it's going to be following them and basically they're going to take damage over time and basically when they're in this move they cannot take any heals or any buff so it's basically a debuff move that basically traps your enemy moving on to our substitution we will be using our time space hop and for our secret technique, I will be using Taki Mizuchi no Kami. Basically with this build, I'm not gonna lie, this build is very good in survival exercise. Cause you know, you can go invisible with the Moonlit Medicine, pop all the burn damage to people, and hit them with the Connor Minari, whatever his name is. <laughs> the summoning is gonna do damage over time. And if they do that, they're basically gonna be dead. So I'm not gonna lie, this build go crazy, for sure. Now that we know this build, let's get right into this gameplay. Let's go. Alright guys, you have reached the end of the video. Hope you guys all enjoyed this banger. Let me know down below 
what you, you think about these builds rate them from 1 to 10 down below in the comment section and also rate the tamari dlc down below let me know what you guys think about it in my opinion i'm not a fan of tamari but i'm not gonna lie her and shinobi strikers pretty good jutsus i can't lie i can't even lie but that is the end of the video so if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already drop a like for me down below i really appreciate it because we're on the road to 2,000 subscribers so let's keep grinding and get them video going crazy so that is the end of the video and i'll see you guys in the next one so without further ado outro please okay bye